Hi, my name is Kim Park, and I am the author of three books. One nonfiction called Courage to Birth, The Power of a Good Birth and How to Obtain It, and three fiction, TJ and the Cunning Cantrip Competition, TJ and the Forbidden Tunnels, and one that I newly released called Golden Ghost Removal Service, which is actually the prequel to TJ and the Cunning Cantrip Competition. It's on Amazon. Please check it out. Today I'm going to read to you from TJ and the Cunning Cantrip Competition. You might see my microphone in the camera here because I'm learning how to do voiceovers and put my books on tape. I'm also in my closet because this is the quietest spot in the house. Let me just move this out of the way. Okay. TJ and the Cunning Cantrip Competition. Copyright Kim Park. Chapter 1. Interview Day. Everything hinged on this day. It was a big day. Interview day. It was my day to stand before the directors of the Magical Review Committee and be tested for placement in one of six Westchester County summer schools for witchcraft and wizardry. Which school would it be? Which one would choose me? Would it be the Grand Old House of Magic? Or Hocus Pocus Place? Or the Enchanter's Village? Certainly it would be one of the good ones, yet I hoped it would be the good one. The Grand Old House of Magic. Everything depended upon me getting placed in the Grand Old House of Magic. If I didn't get into the right summer school, then I wouldn't get the right training. I wouldn't know how to handle myself in the first round, let alone the fifth, and I wouldn't get my chance to go for Cunning Cantrip Competition Champion. My one true dream. My dear friend Abby understood my dilemma. So... You're really going to go for it, she said, her voice ringing with a note of admiration. I am, I confirmed, sashaying down the sidewalk next to her. Your very first year? Yep. And you won't mind being on TV or having all those reporters asking you questions. Nah, I shrugged, though I hadn't really thought much about the TV part. I was more focused on the game part. Wow, Abby pulled a big cheesy grin and raised an imaginary microphone to her lips. Here she comes, people. She mimicked the larger-than-life monotone drone of the Magical News Network television announcer. It's the one you've all been waiting for, Miss Tora Jane Golden. She's a 12-year-old genius, a super sorceress, and a witch extraordinaire. She is our champion! Abby followed up with a heavy exhale to mimic the screams of the audience. <sighs> I beamed at her and curtsied, playing up the moment. Then, not paying attention to where I was stepping, I tripped over the neighbor's recycling bins and went face first down on the sidewalk. Plastic bottles, tin cans, and cardboard flew in every direction. Whoa, are you okay? exclaimed Abby, grabbing me by the elbow. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, I said, flushing crimson. More embarrassed than hurt, I got to my feet, cleaned up the mess, gave Abby a brisk hug goodbye, and retreated to my house. Call me tonight after your interview, she shouted. I want to know how it goes. Will do, I shouted back. I hopped the fence, followed the flagstones to my back door, and ran upstairs to do some last-minute practicing. And I'll stop there for today. But stay tuned. I'll have um, more readings to come. Thank you.